If it's Tuesday, it's time for our Dog of the Week. Mark Soto, Maricopa County Animal Care and Control is with us. And uh, this is a great looking dog. You couldn't tell by that angle. But uh, <laughs> hey, look around this way. Rio! Look at that. Look at the camera. Mark, Rio has a very special story. Tell I us. make you cry. Yes, tell it's us a how very you found sad Rio. story. Me and my wife were on our way to a meeting, and it was real early in the morning. We happened to see uh, three dogs in a field, which isn't uncommon in our ranch type of area. Um, so we left. On the way back, one of our neighbors called us and said there was these three dogs in an alfalfa field. They'd been there all day. We stopped. Uh, unfortunately, it turned out that one of the dogs had passed away. And Rio here was trying his best to nudge her, to wake her up, to do something to get her to to move again to and it just wasn't going to happen and um, poor Rio he showed so much emotion he was just uh, heartbroken over the whole thing we were actually able to get Rio um, you know picked up and we brought him back to the shelter and now we're just looking for a loving home for him because he's had such a rough rough go there he is such a sweetheart he just loves everybody I just I really just there's something about him he's got this wonderful aura of I don't know love and mushiness and it's all he really know. wants is just to be loved and to love back. His loyalty is just amazing. And you can just sense it in this dog that he just he just wants to be part of a family, he wants to be loved. Show him your face, Rio. Look at the other face. They don't want to see your butt. <laughs> Show them your face. Now here's a, here's a great part. Not Look at only, that face. It says adopt me. Not only adopt is he me. a very loyal dog, very <laughs> loving dog, but he's free. Fun. Absolutely free. We have a program called Fetch Back, and for these special dogs and cats that we have, uh, sometimes we put them under this program, and what it is is their whole adoption is completely sponsored. So somebody could come in as long as they're willing to give him a loving home, they can actually just sign the paperwork and take him on home. So he um, will have his vaccinations, he'll have his license, he'll be ready to go home. Ready to go. Now how old yep. do you think he is? We're estimating at about six years old, but it's a little hard to tell because we usually check by their teeth, mm -hmm. and his teeth seem to be a little worn down, so it might be that he was running loose and eating things that might have been a little difficult on his teeth. So, rocks. Yeah, that's a possibility. <laughs> Uh, and what kind of dog do you think he is? We think he's a Sharpay Shepherd mix. He's got the little black spotting on his tongue, mm -hmm. and uh, he's got the little wrinkles on his head, sort of, you know, oh. Sharpay-ish. <laughs> well, but, he gets along with other dogs. Yes, he does. And he gets along with people, obviously, yep. considering we're poking and pulling at him. <laughs> I think he would go great with a family with kids, so this little dog can go to tea parties and go on walks and ride in the wagon. Give her a right? kiss. Give her a kiss, buddy. Go ahead. There you go. Get a boy. And he probably wouldn't mind being dressed up. Oh, uh, there we go. Yay! There we go. Easter's coming. He can wear an Easter bonnet at the tea party. Aww. What a great dog. Well, if you'd like to find out more, he's available at the... Uh, the West Campus. West Campus, yep. And uh, we've got pictures here at CoolRadio.com, and check them out. And he's had a, a rough start, so let's give him a wonderful Good ending. Thanks. Right? Thanks, Mark. You're very welcome. <laughs> yeah. Just because I'm so...